You know, it just occurred to me that we didn't talk about Switch embedded teaming in the last video, which is where we want to have the virtual Switch actually handle the bonding of these two NICs together. In Server 2012, they introduced NIC teaming, um, where you could use Server Manager to go through a process where you took two physical NICs and bonded them together in one virtual NIC called a NIC team. And then from there, you could create a virtual switch, attach it to that virtual NIC, and then there'd be another virtual NIC in there. Blah, blah, blah. It was just a lot of virtualization and virtual NICs going on. In Server 2016, they created a new type of NIC bonding uh, technology called Switch Embedded Teaming, which is where when we go to create the virtual switch, instead of just picking one NIC to bond it to, we could pick two. And that switch would handle the NIC teaming itself. Uh, that way, if one physical nick went down, everything would just roll to the second nick, and it would work very fine. The, the thing about it, though, guys, is there's no GUI to do it. Uh, it's a PowerShell command. Fortunately, it is an incredibly simple PowerShell command. So, without further ado, let's just bring up the little environment, and I can type you through it. All right, it is new VM switch. And then you want to give this, v this virtual switch a name. Um, of course, this is going to make it external, because remember, we're bonding to physical NICs, so it's going to be an external switch. Uh, let's call it, you know, my switch for set switch embedded teaming. How about that? And then we want to go to net adapter name, and this is where we just specify the network adapter names. All you have to do here is specify more than one adapter with the adapter name in quotes, comma, second adapter name in quotes. That's it. That will literally create a virtual switch with two NICs with, with switch embedded teaming. If you were to only create this switch with one NIC, it would create an external switch. And if you wanted the option to add a second NIC to it later to handle switch embedded teaming, it's just enable embedded teaming. Very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put this NIC2 back. And of course, the last thing you may want to really focus in on, there's a bunch of switches here. You can see a bunch of options. But allow management OS if we also want it to be able to reach our host after this is over. Because if you look at this, there's only two NICs here. If I were to take both NICs and not allow management OS, we would lose connectivity to this host. That's not good. We don't want that. We better hope we have iDRAC to bring it back or, or something or ILO if you're an HP. Um, so yeah. That's all there is to doing switch embedded teaming. You don't have to worry about uh, going through server manager to, to uh, do NIC teaming and then attaching it to a second NIC, a virtual NIC. Uh, you could just run this PowerShell command. The virtual switch itself would handle the teaming, uh, and you would only have to configure the IP addresses on that virtual NIC that it creates after that. All right, get out there and try it out.